where are we headed now? Now that the field is more open, what technologies that people are building right now, what new ideas that people are encoding in technology are going to actually change the face of the space or how we transact? The first things that we're going to see are very deep integration between some of the largest fintech style companies and their networks and blockchain networks. Are we actually moving through this process? Are we actually going to wriggle off this old snake skin or are these two things just going to always awkwardly coexist like two worlds that smashed into each other in yeah. some sort of quantum well, accident? That's a great question and I have maybe an interesting answer for you, which is that this is the norm in all of human history for all of technology at all times <laughs> and it has never been the opposite. It has never, we have never ever shed the skin ever or taken the new form ever. Something as sensitive as the financial system, it's probably not going to be exclusionary. To make matters much worse, this is probably the most radical, interesting part is that because crypto endeavors to be permissionless and totally open, it can't really exclude but through its ethos. That's why there's always so many different components in the crypto stack. They're all decentralized, they're all open source, they're all permissionless, they're all totally interoperable, which means you don't end up with that single Apple-esque smooth, perfect, vertically integrated experience. It's actually impossible because you have tons of different people and anytime someone makes a different layer, they've deliberately made it so many other people at the layers above and layers beneath can use it. So you definitionally end up with a bunch of different configurations that people use.